back with Guybrush. We're back at Escape from Monkey Island. Uh, this crawdaddy trap. Oh my gosh. Oh, the movement in this game. This is, I think, one of the reasons it's my... I bet a whole lot of crawdaddies would fit in this trap, and I bet it doesn't catch many either. I can hear some people talking inside. If I move closer to the window, maybe I'll be able to make out what they're saying. Like I said, I got the job done. Now where's my money? Hmm, this should be good. Hey, all in due time, my dear Mr. Pignose. Hey, you know that is. sounds familiar. We've only completed part of the plan. You've done an admirable job in getting Guybrush out of the way, <laughs> as well as reappropriating the Marley family heirlooms. I trust you put them somewhere safe for the time being? Of course I am. I'm no idiot. That junk you're so interested in is safe and sound in my impenetrable cave. That junk, as you call it, may very well be the key to ridding these islands of pirates once and for all. <gasps> uh, no offence, of course. Right. So about my fee? Later, my good man. In the meantime, the heirlooms are our little secret. Keep them hidden, and not a word to anyone. We'd hate to have my plan spoiled by an indiscretion. All right, Mr. Batgirl, we'll do it your way. But if you don't pay me soon, I'll cut your gizzard out. There's no need to be such a ruffian. You'll get what's coming to you. I'd better. I'm off to tend to my affairs. Now that we're in possession of the Marley heirlooms, I must begin determining how they relate to the ultimate insult. Dun dun dun. This is an awfully small so, shack. So, Ozzy and Pegnose are working together. After I deal with Pegnose here, I'll have to pay Mr. Mandrill a little visit. He's got his own little raft. Alright, so, the way to get Pegnose. You should look at his lovely welcome mat who lives out in the middle of nowhere where you need a clock and to navigate through a mystical swamp to get to it, he still is very welcoming. We're going to use the chicken grease on the welcome mat. Now, he is, apparently, deathly afraid of ducks. And wouldn't you know it, I've got a duck. Where are you, duck? Where's my duck? Hey, buddy. All right, you and me, buddy. We're going to bring this guy to justice. So... We use the duck with the window, throw it in there, and he will just freak out. And he slips, and boom, in the crawdaddy trap. And he's ours. Can I get the duck back? I want the duck. No, get the duck up, Guybrush. Oh, Guybrush. I want my own personal pet duck. So. You're going to jail, bucko. Well, Inspector, here's your real criminal. What's this? That looks like... Peg no speed. Good observation, Sparky. It is. He's the one who framed me for the bank robbery. I'd like this anklet removed now. You got nothing on me. I overheard you and Ozzy talking about how he hired you to rob the bank and frame me. Ha! That will hold up his evidence. He's right. Do you have proof he did it? But that prosthetic nose I gave you earlier should clear my name. Hmm. Well, not exactly. That would only prove that Peg Nose here was at the scene of the crime. It wouldn't prove he was the purpose. Ugh. To do that, you'd need to prove Peg Nose had the loot in his possession. But... So, I will not be administering justice in this case. But you can't just let him go. Oh, Pete's not going anywhere. Good. He's wanted for plenty of other crimes. Well, hold on, Come back when me. you think you can prove what you claim. <sighs> All right. All right, so now I've got to go get... The treasure. And uh, Pegnose has said, I wonder oh, right. how Elaine's doing. Oh, right, Elaine's doing stuff. And so, my swashbuckling citizens, as we approach the next century, can we really afford to entrust Melee Island's future to a man with no past, a man with no experience, a man who doesn't even seem to like pirates? Common sense says no! Good point. My opponent is right. I am a newcomer to these islands. And it's true that my experience in affairs of state is minimal at best. But it doesn't take a seventh generation pirate princess eyes are to me see out. that Melee Island needs more than a part time status quo governor. A governor who can't even promise her citizens good times and free grog. <laughs> Stop! Stop! Stop it! You, you, you can't be stupid enough to believe that Charles is just gonna give you free grog and good times, can you? Yeah, our pirates. Oh, honey. I'll be back soon, Snuggle Bunny. 
All right, so now we need to go track down Pegnose's ill-gotten gains. And he said he had hidden it in his unpenetrable hiding place, which means we need to break into it. So, the key to that is going to Ozzy's house. And since he still has that cane that is termite infested... Okay. Do I still have the glove? Yeah, okay, so I had the wood. So if I needed to do it again, I could. All right, Ozzy. Talk to me, buddy. I'm back. What do you want now? Uh, I need to... You're the jerk that hired Pegnos to frame me hey, for the bank you're robbery. you're the jerk who hired Pegnos to frame me for the bank robbery. That's strange. I heard that you were the one who robbed the bank. Mm -hmm. Ha! I overheard you talking to Pegnos in the swamp. What? You heard me. I know all about your scheme to steal the Marley heirlooms. Ah! Your puny pirate brain is incapable of perceiving the true depths of my scheme. Besides, you'll never be able to pin anything on me without the loot. And you'll never find it. Ha! I already found it. Really? There we go. You found Pegnose's booty showcase. Um, yeah. What did it look like? <laughs> showrooms go. <laughs> I can't even rate it to 78. The showrooms go. I rated it to 78. It had a good beat and I could dance to it. Hmm. You're probably bluffing. But uh -huh. I was planning to take a hike to the showroom anyway. All right, so he grabs his cane, and he's going to walk to the showroom, and we're going to follow that little breadcrumb trail we got from our termite friends. And when I return, I'll have plumbed the yes, mysteries yes. of the ultimate insult. Whatever this Don't ultimate insult is. anything while I'm gone. Grandpa Marley's letter mentioned the ultimate insult. wonder if it's important. <laughs> All right, so let's follow old Ozzy out. Let's just go ahead and do it the easy way. And we'll follow him this way to the forest. Oh, wow, okay. So I think we gotta avoid being seen by him. I don't know if we can catch up to him. Walk deeper into forest. Okay, cool, so... Good thing I had that trail to follow. Up until now, that is. It's disappeared. Those termites probably ran out of cane to eat. He's so probably so mad. where did that mad? Australian pirate phobe go? Oh, oh there, there he is. is. Be very quiet. I must have kangaroos in me upper paddock. Be very, very quiet. Oh, gosh. I'm hunting Nazis. This ultimate insult nonsense has me uncharacteristically baffled. I knew I should have taken that class in ancient N voodoo curses at the University of Toowoomba. All right, so clearly there's a university in Toowoomba that offers classes on all ancient voodoos. Call it curses. Fabulous. All right, so we are now... The must be nearby. Yep. Okay, so we need to go this way, looks like. And is there a way to get in here from... Nope, this is just a circle. Where did he come from? He's back here. Okay. No, I don't want to go back to Luger Island. All right, at least it gives you right back here. I don't have to follow some breadcrumb trail. It's pretty shallow here. I can see the dirt on the bottom easily. All right, so we can look at it's the water. It's really deep here. I can't see the bottom at all. Just a strange, murky dark... Eh, no thanks. Ooh. I'm not thirsty. Let's see if I can hold my breath for ten minutes still. It's a running joke in my... Oh gosh, the movement. Eh, no thanks. I'm not thirsty. It's not so shallow here. I can just make out the bottom. Eh, no thanks. I'm not thirsty. Okay. So where do I jump in? It's not so shallow here. Eh, no thanks. I'm not thirsty. Alright. Is there deep water here somewhere? Look at trees. Tropical. Yes, yes. Hey, there's a hidden passage oh, okay. back here. That must be where Ozzy disappeared to. Okay, climb down, hidden passage. Ooh, fancy. Look at this swing shindig. Look at this. Look Nick, at the table. Dirty dishes. For a master thief, Pegnos is a real slob. Uh, uh, uh. This button practically screams. Push that I'm button. That push the button. What does it do? Hey, that looks like the Lucre Town Bank's missing loot and the Marley heirlooms. Hey. I've find a way to get in there. Okay, so it's under the water. The bank booty and the Marley heirlooms are in the cavern on the other side of this unbreakable window. Okay, so. Look at what booty. Odd no, I'd probably get busted for <laughs> possession of stolen property. That's the truth. All right, so let's go get... Murray? Nope, still not Guess Murray. Not. Okay. So now we have to go into the water to get the heirlooms and the bank loot. So let's go to the not so dive into deep water. Whee! That was easy. So it's super dark down here. Now, I think the key to this... 
is using the baits with the there. scupperware. Now my bait will stay fresh. And then I need to use the scupperware with the bioluminescent fish. I already have something in there. I already have something in there. Okay. Come on. Can I get... Oh, open. Here, okay. fishy, fishy, fishy. Okay. Mm, maybe I should wait until they're closer. Okay. So once they get close to me, I need to open the scupperware. And Here, I fishy, think fishy, that fishy. traps these glowing bioluminescent fish in my scupperware. And then I use it as a lantern. And I can see everything. And gladly I can breathe. I can hold my breath for ten minutes, which is a well-established fact in Monkey Island lore. Hey, look at that. We did it. Whew. It's a good thing I can hold my breath for ten minutes. Take the heirlooms. Take the bank loot. Take all the things. Yes, yes, yes. Oh my gosh, take your time, Guybrush. It's not like we're trying to clear our souls of a felony. Hey, oh. something just fell out of the chest. A tiny screw. I'll bet it goes to Pegnose's prosthetic nose. Now I can clear the good name of Guybrush Street. Boy. How good it was before, buddy. All right, put that away, and pick up the itty bitty brass screw. Put that away, and now let's go back to town. I love that auto feature to get out of there because the I guess I was saying before I count uh, Peg knows one of the reasons I think this is one of my least favorite. Actually, it is my least favorite Monkey Island game. I love them all, but this one is probably my least favorite, which is why I haven't played it to death like I have everything else is because the movement system is so wonky and just uh, all over the place. Um, you get stuck in corners, you can't get to doors, and of course, y as you see. But the exit quickly feature is convenient. So, let's give this guy... Where's all the loot? Here's the loot. Let's give him the brass screw first. Hey, buddy. Oh, Inspector, I think you'll find this interesting. What's this? It looks like a tiny screw. I think you'll find it goes with a nose I gave you earlier. Oh, you do, do you? What makes you so sure, eh? It won't prove a thing. Quiet, you. Oh, did I mention that I found it with the loot that was stolen from the bank? Well, then. Perhaps we should give it a try. Oh, my. Watch out, he bites. Still you. Quiet, you! Well, I'll be. That's a well, heck of a prosthetic. It doesn't fit! Quiet, you! If the nose fits, you <laughs> must quit. Another dated that reference. Quiet, you! Uh, who did he slap? Right, the Iron Maiden? Your name's been cleared. Yay! See that leg of yours. Oh, um, right. <laughs> the anklet thingy. Hold on. Oh, Maybe I should do a background check on you. Just because you didn't rob the bank doesn't mean you aren't wanted for other more heinous crimes. Hi, he stole a duck! Quiet, Quiet you. you! On the other hand, without the stigma of felonious robbery hanging over your head, Woo. you seem pretty harmless. So, off you go. Hey, was that an insult? Uh-oh. Oh, he's Batman now. Done paying your debt to society, Oates? <laughs> Ha freaking ha. Time to make sale, shipmates. Thank gods. I hate this repressive place. Yeah. I was getting kind of bored. We can't. I have more repairs to make. <laughs> Just kidding. Oh, for Pete's Ship's sake. ready. Let's get back on the dainty lady. So I guess I got my restraining order? Going back to melee. Let's see what's going on here. All right, mateys. Stay here and watch the ship while I go into town. Yeah, you guys stay here while uh, Guybrush and I check out the flora. If you get to go, I get to go. Scumbar, here I come! Hey, if anyone here gets to go <laughs> to the scumbar, it's me. Hey, <clears throat> please stay here and guard the ship. I'll be back soon. Jeez, we were just kidding. We were. This can't be right. I'm afraid it is, Governor. Charles L. Charles' Good Times Free Grog campaign has given him a 23% lead in all the polls. But... Honey, I'm home! Guybrush! Uh, you're back! Yes, and look what I've got. Uh, oh, wait, that's not... How do we get it again? We gave it back to ourselves, because time. Oh, Guybrush, this is wonderful! Esteban, take these papers down to Melee Town Hall and save my mansion. 
Oh, Guybrush, I am so glad you're back. What took you so long? Well, that's a funny story. It all started when I went looking for the no-nosed pirate. Three hours later. And then Ozzy said, I'm gonna put your shrimp on me body. Never said that. Okay. After that, I was attacked by an army of koalas. Uh-huh. And so the lawyers used the Marley Mansion deed to drop the legal papers to save the mansion. Then I came back here. Well, seems like the sensible thing to do would be to destroy my grandfather's heirloom so that no one could get their hands Fair on enough. the ultimate insult. Whatever that is. I agree. Got a match? <laughs> Charles, you manipulating weasel. Get out of my house before I stick my piranha poodles on you. Yikes! No, no, my dear Mrs. Marley. The Reapwood. Is that any way to talk to the next governor of Melee Island? I don't care what the polls say. The pirates of Melee will see through your tissues of false hopes and empty promises. <laughs> oh, that's ominous. The pirates of Melee couldn't see through a window. They can't even see what's right in front of them. What are you talking about? Why, only the biggest lie. Um, Charles L. Charles, also known as LeChuck. LeChuck! LeChuck! At your service. Enough of this inane banter. I've got an election to win. <laughs> How do you expect to be elected once I tell everyone you're really LeChuck? Go ahead, tell them. Shout it from the rooftops. It will only ensure my victory. And once I'm elected, I'll use my gubernatorial powers to divine the secrets of the ultimate insult. Huh? You heard me. The ultimate insult. With its unholy power, I'll make the seas run red with the blood of my enemies. I'll bring the forces of hell to the shores of the Caribbean. And I'll finally make Elaine my willing bride. <laughs> Oh, yeah? Well, you fight like a cow. Good job. So we're entering Act 2, and I think I'm going to pick up Act 2 in the next video. Uh, so from this point, we're basically fighting LeChuck again. So uh, you saw the three different I'm incarnations. About what? Which is Ghost Pirate, Zombie Ch Pirate, and... Um, Ghost Zombie Pirate? I guess he's just some demonic... Demonic Pirate, that is. Um... What do your grandfather's heirlooms have to do with all of this? I don't know. What is the ultimate insult? And why are LeChuck and Ozzy Mandrill after it? I don't know. Okay, well, you're I've so got useful. a plan. I know I'm going to regret asking this, but what is it? Uh... <laughs> sort of <good. laughs> Big Whoop was the thing you were going for in Monkey Island 2. Let's work together to find out the secret of Big Whoop. Oh, sorry, wrong script. Right, right, right. Well, now, here's my plan. I'll redouble my efforts to keep LeChuck out of the governor's mansion, which should be a lot easier now that I know he's really an evil undead demon from heck. In the meantime, why don't you do everything you can to stop Ozzy and LeChuck from getting their hands on the ultimate insult? Whatever that is. Uh, okay. How? If I were you, honey, I'd talk to the voodoo lady. She always seems to know about these things. All right. But have fun fighting the bad guy, schnookums. All right, so we are going to have to go to the booty lady in our next video. This is what it's like being a first that... lady. All right, so next time we will embark on uh, tracking down the ultimate insult and figure out what that is all about. So we'll see you then.